As a teacher, I know that images can be powerful in helping students to grasp a concept. Finding the right image can be a chore at some times, so I use Google Image Search to find the images that I need for my lecture presentations, worksheets, or other student assignments. To use Google Image Search, you do not need any type of Google account. Simply go to google.com, their homepage and search for whatever we're looking for. I will use an easy example just because I know there are a lot of images. This is the main search screen and you can see a few image results at the top and then your normal web page text results below that. <coughs> Over on the top left side you'll see a button right next to web that says images. Clicking on that button will show you results images only and will provide you with some different filtering options that can help you find just the image that you're looking for. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice uh, several different filters. The first one is, has to do with size. So if you are looking for an image that you'd like to use as a desktop wallpaper or to print a large class poster, you'd want to find the large image as possible. And clicking on the appropriate link will um, bring you images of only a certain size. Below that you can see image types. You can search for faces, so if you want people in the picture, this will bring you um, images of people near the Eiffel Tower, um, in the Eiffel Tower, etc. Um, you can do photos, which are probably most of the images there, and this would give you the most realistic look at the Eiffel Tower, but for some reason you may want a clip art or line drawing and filtering with those options will show you images um, that are just clip art or um, line drawings, which could be um, interesting. Uh, much simpler graphics can convey the meaning without um, having all the background distractions. Below the image type, you'll find options for color. If you want black and white, you can click on that color and then if you need a specific color um, you can search for that as well which is very cool. I'm not going to find much for line drawing um, in blue color but if I go to uh, photo I'll see images that are predominantly blue which is kind of neat. So uh, these search filters are stackable so I can search for large images that are photos and yellow or small images that are line drawings and gray and it will combine those search images together. Clicking on the bottom will reset to the default where I'll see all of the images. A lot of people are familiar with these options and use them but there are even some uh, uh, more options that some people don't know about. To get to them you need to go up right below the search box and click on advanced search. This will bring up a series of um, options, some of which we've just explored, but we have some uh, greater detail that we can put in. For example, I can specify the specific width and height of an image, and that's really nice if you need to put an image into a, a, a blog header or something with a very specific image size. You can also click on this button to use your desktop size, and that will help you find wallpaper that's specifically sized for your desktop. Aspect ratio will determine um, if you want uh, widescreen or square. Um, you can also look for specific file types if you want a JPEG or a GIF. And this search option at the bottom is arguably one of the most important for educators. You can ask to view only images that are labeled for reuse and modification. This is a Creative Commons filtering and if you use that, so labeled for use or modification, any of the images that show up um, will be acceptable for reuse. This is great for student projects as well as for um, teacher use. So all of these images are labeled as Creative Commons for use, uh, reuse, and modification. This is Google Image Search. Lots of great ways to find images that are specifically tailored to the unique needs that you have.